All right, let's take a look at the gold setup. Uh, make sure we understand why gold was a short at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're waiting on crude right now. Crude's on deck in between symmetry and profile. Once we break outside of symmetry and also um, market profile on crude oil, then we should be looking for a crude trade on deck. All right, let's take a look at gold. Um, what we want to do is let's go over the size of the boxes, which are very, very important. We go from a consolidation to a continuation. Um, if you notice, we started out right around 7.15 this morning. Uh, we had these big, wide boxes. Big, wide boxes. What that means is the market is in consolidation. So as these boxes are ticking before they close, before they close, if you see less than four bars, this next box right here is trend box. There's two bars, that, two candles, I'm sorry, that printed inside of the trend box, red trend box. That indicates there is speed in the market. And we have to, if we have speed in the market, we can look for retracement trading because the market typically snaps back and continues in that same direction. So if you notice, uh, what we want to see is we want to see these large, wide, I mean, these wide trend boxes first. And typically, they happen inside of symmetry dots. Here's your symmetry, nice consolidation. It's happening right now on crude oil. We're getting a sideways movement in between 38 to 66. So once we break outside that level, we should see speed boxes form, and we should see this form just like it did on gold this morning for a nice crude trade, and crude's on deck. It's the calm before the storm. So you want these thin, I mean, this, this width of the boxes to be less than four candles. If you get less than four candles, you typically have speed in the market, and you can see this nice continuation move that we had this morning on, on gold. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can look for the first retracement after speed comes in. So we have a speed box here, speed box, speed, speed, one, two, three, four, speed there, and then here's your retracement for your, sorry, there's your first retracement sell, two ticks above the swing high, never got stopped out. Here's your next opportunity at this swing high, and then we had one over here for a speed box, next retracement there, got the first target off there also. So if you notice, all these speed boxes, there's two candles, got that swing high on a full retracement once you got above 90%. These speed boxes, speed, got above 90, caught this high, got above 90, caught this swing high when you had a lower close than open or a red candle uh, um, that form. All right, so you notice that you want to get speed in the market before you get involved in these markets, though. We need to get speed. So anything less than four candles inside of the speed box, we should get rolling in the market. And that's how you want to do it. Look for a big consolidation, big consolidation into uh, candles, less than four candles, and the market should get rolling. Now, the larger time frames, that's what we want to see. Go back to crude oil real quick, Gerald. Go back to crude if you can. What we're waiting on crude, you can see a crude yesterday, very simple. We went from a big consolidation trend box into speed. Right there, look at, it had two candles inside of my trend box. Two candles again that formed here inside the trend box. Two candles right here inside the trend box. One candle inside the trend box here. So we had one, two, three, four trend boxes that formed on a larger time frame. This is the nine Simrinko. So how that translates into a trade, we're going to look for this morning. This morning, look at the wide box. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven candles that are forming, and this trend box has not even closed yet. So we are in consolidation. We're not into speed. So we want to wait until we get into this scenario like yesterday. We see a trend box that has less than two candles which should get the market moving. What that translates on the smaller time frames is this, and I'll show you. Yesterday, when we finally got a speed, speed in the market, look at your smaller time frames, look at the opportunity you got. Now your small time frames, your larger time frame showed speed, look at your smaller time frame trend boxes. There's two candles on this one, caught the first retracement. Right there, caught that low. So what we're going to look for coming up on crude, caught that low there. If you look at the next retracement, speed box came in, caught this low, this low, this low, this low. Look at all these lows it caught right here when you got a full retracement, full retracement, full retracement. 
full retracement, full retracement, full retracement. So you want a full retracement after the trend box gets speed where I circle these areas at. These are trend boxes that have less than four candles in them. That indicates speed in the market. Now, the, the top trades I like to see is when we break through symmetry. We get through symmetry dots, which crude's on deck right now to do that. We get through symmetry with the speed, with speed in the market. Right here, close outside of symmetry. This one, you get, a, you get less than two candles inside of the trend box, which is green. That first retracement caught this W, lazy W, and she took off. All right, same here. Speed caught this low. Speed caught that low. Speed caught that low. So you want to see the larger time frames or market profile break, break out, and then we want to go into the smaller time frames. Right now, look at the consolidation we're getting. We're getting major consolidation in the market. So what I want to see on this larger time frame is I want to see right now, this is all yesterday's trading, the whole trading day, I want to see a box like this. I want to see a box like this form on this larger time frame, and that should get us into a nice trend market. Okay?